is my cat. Just wanted you to see her for the first time. Hi, baby. Yeah, you want me to let you go? Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> enough of YouTube content. <laughs> Anywho, now that we got the cat out of the way, welcome to the realm of unpopular opinions. I'm opening this vlog officially on a Monday for once, even though it's like 11 p.m., but it's still a Monday. It counts. <laughs> now, the reading rush will be this week, and I am participating, but not really seriously. So I have a lot of books to read, and I still have to finish my owls for this month. I have a lot of stuff for school to do. I have a lot of stuff for my SAT to do. Um, it's not an SAT, but that's the closest word that I have to it for it in English. But yeah, let's see what I will read this week. I have a long list. Now, first we have the Silmarillion, which is still a priority. Even though my Tolkienathon and ended like a week ago, <laughs> but I haven't read it. I literally haven't read anything since I finished that because I couldn't stop thinking about Middle Earth for a week, and then I didn't even have the will to pick this up. But anyway, I need to read that. I want to finish it. I want to finish reading everything I have from Tolkien before I lose interest, or not lose interest because it's one of my favorite books and worlds, but lose interest in that I really need to stop obsessing over it. So let's hope I actually read this this week for The Reading Rush. Next for The Reading Rush we have The Rise of Darth Vader. I'm on page like 127 so I will be finishing this. I almost finished it today. I mean almost finished it. I'm not that close to the ending but I almost set out to finish it today but I was like <coughs> pardon. I almost finished it today, but I was like, just read it for the reading rush. You don't have any short books that you want to read, so just finish the ones that you haven't. Next up, we have The Gospel of Loki, which, yes, there it is, which I haven't read for like a year and a half. I bought it in November of 2018. <laughs> But I have to read this, finally. I don't remember what prompt it is for, but I need to read I think this is for my owls, but I need to read it, like, already. I even have the second one. I'm not sure if they will even be good, but Loki is one of my favorite characters, and I want to read anything that has to do with him, so it can't be that bad. Then the next two will be sort of connected, but also not, because I will kind of, no, not connected at all, but... Ignore what I just said. We have, obviously, Wheel of Time. I need to continue with my Egwene reading. I hope to finish her by tomorrow, or if that is not really realistic, then tomorrow, even though I have an essay to write. I will finish her tomorrow, for sure. Then before I move on to Perrin, because I might even, sh there's a lot of Perrin, so I don't think I'm going to read them back to back, but when I'm done with Egwene, I will try Mistborn. I don't want to read it. <laughs> I have absolutely no interest in Brandon Sanderson, like none whatsoever, but I'm a channel about fantasy books. You're not going to take me seriously until I've at least tried one Sanderson book, and this is the cheapest one I could find. I bought it like months ago. And then we will see what I think, so I can actually give you an opinion on why I'm not interested in Sanderson. Besides the fact that I did not like his addition to the Wheel of Time. But we will be reading Mistborn. It's obviously long, but what is 700 pages at this point? Honestly, that's like, I could read this in a day if I moved all my other assignments aside. We will be reading this, and then... We will move on from there. I don't think this is for my reading rush. This isn't even for the owls. I was just in the mood for this. I was like, let's finish Egwene. Let's get Sanderson over with. Then we can move on with the rest of Wheel of Time. And people might actually take me seriously because I've read a Sanderson book. No, I will not be reading Stormlight. I have absolutely no interest in it. But if someone were to 
send me it or if I found it for like 20 kuna I would wouldn't be opposed to buying it but I can't, I don't want to I don't want to this is all for the content not because I really want to read it like not not at all and I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone obviously read what you want Sanderson could be your favorite character but character author it's very late and I'm tired <laughs> it's not he could be your favorite author and I'm just trash talking about him now but I'm sure you have one of those authors that you're like I, I can't be bothered to pick up their books I don't want to I don't like their vibe I don't like how they write I don't really like their personality so enjoy my suffering Also for like the 16th time, but I'm taking it slow. So here, admire my masterpiece. This is what I did when I was listening to Jekyll and Hyde. Printed it out. Here's my beautiful signature. And it's good. <laughs> it's very relaxing to do, but surprisingly the funnest part was just filling it in with a marker. I like colored pencils, but God, my hand hurts after using them. And this one is actually one that I'm doing. It has the silver marker and the black marker. Yeah, it's kind of stained up there from the last one. But I will be continuing this one while I'm listening to Hamlet. Because it's very relaxing to just doodle while you listen to an audiobook, which is a new hobby of mine. And considering I can't doodle or draw for the life of me, I just fill these in. Also, I haven't really shown it, but here's the one ring, if it will focus. Probably not. Anywho, I'm wearing my trusty the one ring, so be gone. Good freaking morning, everyone. It's, see, my voice is not even recovered yet. <clears throat> This is the next day. I woke up way too late. I didn't read anything last night. It was just one of those... It snowed here again. And it's like the 14th of April. I have no idea what's going on. Apparently there's grasshoppers all over Africa right now. So I guess time to die. Time for the apocalypse to start. But... <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. But seriously, you never know. So anyway, it's the 14th now. I hope to God that I actually will read... Today, even though I have an essay to write, which I really don't want to. I mean, if it's a the apocalypse, why am I even doing schoolwork? But that's besides the point. Let me show you my cat, who is in a very unfortunate position for the lighting. But still, you need to say hello. H hang on. She's running. Hang on. Here is one cat. That's my mother's cat. She does not let anyone else come near her but my mother. I have no idea why. Hey! This is actually a miracle that she's letting me touch her right now. <laughs> she will escape very quickly. Hi. Did you like the vlog yesterday? Yeah. I will leave you alone now. Yeah, I know. So anyway, we will be making tea. This is the tea, if you can see it. And I am trying to find my spoon. 
somehow has a tendency to disappear in this house. I am so freaking tired, so this will be probably the last update of today, the 15th. Tomorrow the reading rush starts, so I will do my best over the next four days to read as much as I can. Read the books that I set up for that. Tomorrow, when I update you, I will let you know what books are actually on my reading rush TBR. But tonight I will do my best to read the rest of Wheel of Time and maybe finish it tomorrow morning because I don't think I will finish it tonight. And when that's done, we're going to go to the books that are actually for the reading rush. Now, I have no idea how long this vlog will be, but I will try to update consistently throughout the reading rush, so I might have to make the parts before that a little shorter, so you don't have a three-hour vlog. So anyway, we will talk tomorrow. Wish me luck that I actually read <laughs> what I intend to read, because I am feeling so tired and drained these days. Just, I hope I do well. Good morning. Yeah, I didn't read last night. I feel like this entire vlog is just me being a failure, but now that it's the reading rush, I am actually forced because I want to. I If there's any badges, I haven't yet checked. That will force me, <laughs> definitely force me to read. But I haven't finished my will of time that I was supposed to finish, so I will do that like immediately, and then I will continue with my reading rush TBR. I hope not to stop reading over the next four days. Unless I have to do something for school, which is very likely and very annoying. But, and I'm currently covered by a blanket. I have no idea why. I was just feeling a little cozy. I didn't want to leave bed today. So please let me know if you are also feeling like that during quarantine. Anyway, I will now show you the books in sort of the order that I will read them. And actually what I'm supposed to read for the reading rush after I'm done with Wheel of Time. This I will be finishing for uh, A World You Want to Go To. I think that's the prompt, yeah. Because I was postponing finishing it, as you saw in the beginning of the vlog, so I can read it now. I will read that very quickly, probably. Then, of course, next we have one of my favorite books of all time. That's for... Technically, it has a house in the background, but I'm not using it for that. You will see why. I'm reading this for one of your Desert Island reads because I really, really, really wanted to reread it on... Um, Although it's not even a month since I read it, but I want to annotate it. So yes, I will be reading that. Then next we have City of Bones, which I'm using sort of for house in the cover. I mean, someone lives in those skyscrapers. But I'm only using that because I want to finish it. I have, like, postponed it for not not a year, but a long time since last summer. I have the second half to read. Should be quick because it's a very accessible writing style, I guess. And then next we have Garfield, which is obviously extremely short. That's just so I can make sure that I actually have something completed 100%. That's for a book that makes you smile. And for a book that you should read in the same room for the whole time. I mean, that can just be anything I pick up. I have Modesty Blaze, the graphic novel set for it, but obviously it can be anything considering that it's... A very easy prompt to fulfill since I always read in my room so that is the plan for this weekend obviously God knows what else I will read because I'm very unpredictable I spent the day kind of sick I was a little bit queasy but that's besides the point I'm about to go reading as you can obviously see by my setup I didn't read Wheel of Time because I was held back by something and I now realize that it was a very strong desire <laughs> to read Winter Night again. I am about to start Baron the Nightingale because I couldn't wait anymore. I, I need to reread it. I need to annotate it immediately. 
So that is what I'm reading. It's for the reading rush. I can't hold myself back anymore. I've been wanting to do this for like a month, I think. So that is what I'm reading. Let's see how far I can get before I inevitably fall asleep. Not because of the book, but because biology. <laughs> Well, welcome to Reading Rush Day 2. It is currently the 17th. I have no idea where I was wearing the hood, in any case. What did I do last night? I finished Burn the Nightingale. Yeah, I couldn't stop reading it, even though I've read it like a month ago. <laughs> But I tabbed it completely, and I have every scene marked now, and I loved it. It was an amazing experience, but I did reach the conclusion that is definitely my least favorite of the three. Which I love, actually, in a trilogy. If the first book is the weakest, then you are a really good author in my book. But <clears throat> plans for today are basically, obviously, can I... How can I not? Well, last time I read this book, I read it on ebook, so I actually never touched this physical copy. And I hope I can enjoy it as much as I did when I read the ebook. I'm betting that I will catch something that I missed in the other one because I hate reading on my phone. But this will be a great time. It's not for the reading rush, but it wasn't possible for me to read the first book without continuing on, so. And before I do that, I hope to finally finish this. This I have finished two prompts for the Reading Rush. I read the Garfield comic, which was obviously very short and very fun. I enjoyed it. Four stars, and that was for one of the prompts. So I have two more to fulfill. One of them is this, and I hope to finish this as soon as possible so I can continue with Winter Night. Yeah, I gotta go. That was a short update. All right, I'm back. You wouldn't know because I'm sitting in the exact same position. I had two wraps for lunch, and I'm full now. I don't feel like I can move, <laughs> even though I'm supposed to go cycling a little bit later. But I brought the victim, so you can see what I did to it. I'm not sure how you would best see. That's a lot of tabs. <laughs> I even use a thick one, which I never use, to tab one of my favorite scenes, and now this is obviously an abused copy. No one's having it. And I have about half of this left, so that should be quick, because there are boring parts, which I skim through. Because often in Star Wars books, when they're not the main ones, there's like secondary char characters who do serve the purpose, but you don't really care what's going on with them. I'm reading this book for Vader. I don't care what you are thinking and doing, but I skim through those parts, so I still know what's going on. And then we're going to this, and I can't wait. Look at how pretty these are, honestly. I love the other covers, but I'm not really depressed that I have these because they're gorgeous. The only problem is the font is kind of tiny compared to other books. I can't wait to read it, though. It's shorter than the first one. Shouldn't take me that long. I'm not sure if I will reread the third one because it's been now exactly one month since I finished the third one, but I remember it very vividly. <laughs> but I might, I might read it again. I just, I might want the complete experience. God, I love rereading books. It's just amazing. You notice little details that you never noticed before. It's great. Anyway, I will check in later. Do let me know how your reading rush is going. Mine has been pretty much on track, actually, which never happens. I'm so freaking exhausted. <laughs> These last few days have been killing me because it finally, not finally because I hate it, but the weather changed and it's hot and humid and dry and now all of a sudden it's getting cold again and I can't handle it. It's so uncomfortable for me. It's Anyway, it's the last day of the reading rush. I, as usual, I just threw my TBR out of the window and read something else, but happily I fulfilled all the prompts by reading the Winter Night Trilogy. I have yet to read the last book, but it shouldn't be quick. I will probably finish it tonight. I mean, it should be quick. I will finish it tonight. I will probably 
finish it actually on Monday, but I'm still counting it because I can and I'm tired. Let me know if it has been very funny weather-wise where you live because it's been insane over here. So anyway, I read Winter Night and I read the Garfield comic, so that's good. I wrote a little bit, so that was successful, but this week will be like crammed with stuff that I have to do for school. So this was actually kind of a satisfying break. I might update you as I read Winter of Witch, because we all know I will definitely have thoughts again, but... Yeah, that's it for this vlog, actually. I'm sorry that the Reading Rush portion was actually kind of boring. I gave less updates than before it started, but it's just been a bad couple of days. I apologize. So maybe another update, maybe a wrap-up. We will see tomorrow. I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. It's the end of Monday now. I'm feeling <laughs> terrible. I literally can't function properly. I have yet to finish Winter of the Witch, so that's the last update, and I will definitely finish that before tomorrow. Five out of five stars, no wonder about that, so I hope you sort of enjoyed this chaotic reading rush-ish vlog, and I will see you for the next one, and I hope I will finally feel better. Let me know how you've been doing, and take care.